many families in the UK, chicken is a huge part of my family's diet. It's something that we have every single week and is an absolute family favourite. But that got me thinking about where chicken comes from. And so today I have come to a chicken farm and I'm also going to be talking to food safety expert Guy Poppy about why British chicken has some of the highest standards in the world. So hi guys, thank you so much for talking to me today. As you can see, I'm on the farm. I thought it'd be really great to talk to you about food safety and food standards because I believe this is your expertise. Yes, so it's nice to be able to speak to you, Emma. Um, yeah, I, I've worked on food standards and food safety for more than 30 years. So in particular today, we're going to talk about chicken. Now, what chicken standards do red tractor farmers have? Well, Red Tractor have been working for 20 years uh, with farmers and talking with vets and people who are experts on animal welfare to produce a, a range of standards which you can trust, which will enable customers to choose what is best for them. And there are currently three types of chicken in their range. Yeah, I've noticed that there are different labels when I'm in the supermarket. Can you explain to me what those are and what they mean? The core. Um, product is a is certified standard and, and what that means is these birds have got 10% more space than what is required by European legislation and, and that means the birds have a higher welfare standard uh, and, and these hygiene and safety is the sort of quality that a consumer should be looking for all the time. The second one is what's called enhanced welfare and, and these chickens are a different breed of chicken which grow slower and that enables them to encounter more natural light and more space. In fact, they have 30% more space than is required under European legislation. That's really interesting. I've never actually thought that the chickens would be different breeds. So what's the third type? Well, the third type is free range and, and they're the chickens which are allowed to roam outside. And in fact, they have even um, more natural light, obviously outside, but also back in the barn, more space. And, and, and these chickens display a whole range of behaviours, which uh, is, is kind of classic chicken behaviours. And so why does this all matter? Why is it important that we have these really high standards? Well, high standards are important, not just for the chickens themselves in terms of they've got space and their welfare is being looked after, but it's of importance to you as a human as well, because clearly whether chickens are hygienically reared will have implications on how safe they are to eat. So how does the UK compare in terms of the rest of the world when it comes to food standards and chicken in particular? Well, the, the UK has amongst the highest food standards of anywhere in the world. And, and you can know that by the fact that when you look at the amounts of foodborne illness or, or various other things you want to measure, the UK is right up there amongst the countries which have the highest standards and the least problems. So it was interesting earlier, I was on the farm and I was talking to Ed, who is a chicken farmer. And he was explaining to me the process of the chickens coming to him on day one, but actually they know where the parent stock is and where they've come from. What we are very good at doing is, is, is surveying where things have, where a problem perhaps has emerged and very quickly tracking back through the supply chain to determine where that problem may have arisen, which then enables us to do continuous improvement. You're going to have to forgive my ignorance on this. I've read very little about it in the news. What is this whole thing about chlorinated chicken? We have a whole range of uh, high hygiene um, uh, interventions that we make. You would have seen on the farm the very high biosecurity. You are sitting there in a particular out, a uniform exactly. in my which is associated. My boots have been dipped, I've had gloves on and off, I've been wearing my mask. So exactly, so what that means is that the chickens when they leave the farm and before they arrive in the supermarket, the chickens in the United Kingdom do not need to be washed in chlorine to remove a lot of the contamination which has been happening in that rearing process. And some countries in the world do not have those high hygiene standards 
up until that point and then they wash them in chlorine to remove all of that and i think if you do opinion polls uh, in my academic job we've spoken to lots of the public and, and, and the public raise you know they are worried about animal welfare they want animals to be looked after properly therefore that's why the the red tractor schemes which offer the chickens more space they offer them more light and they offer an, a, an environment which enables those behaviours to be as natural as possible. By looking for the red tractor, you are effectively voting uh, for welfare, high hygiene and safe food. Thank you so much, Guy. It's been so lovely to talk to you. I feel like I'm an expert now. I know all about the kids. <laughs> My pleasure. So sometimes it is easier to bury our heads in the sand when we hear these concerning stories about food standards in the media. Talking to Guy has really helped kind of highlight the importance of buying chicken that's born and reared in the UK. And as shoppers, we're very lucky to have Red Tractor make it so easy for us in that all we've got to do is look out for that Red Tractor logo and we know that our food is traceable, safe and farmed with care.